November 9th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 2 John Chapter 1 of the New Testament. From the elder to an elect lady and her children, whom I love in truth, and not I alone, but also all those who know the truth, because of the truth that resides in us and will be with us forever. Grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Son of the Father in truth and love. I rejoice greatly because I have found some of your children living according to the truth, just as the Father commanded us. But now I ask you, lady, not as if I were writing a new commandment to you, but the one we have had from the beginning, that we love one another. Now this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, thus you should walk in it. For many deceivers have gone out into the world, people who do not confess Jesus as Christ coming in the flesh. This person is the deceiver and the antichrist. Watch out so that you do not lose the things we have worked for, but receive a full reward. Everyone who goes on ahead and does not remain in the teaching of Christ does not have God. The one who remains in this teaching has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your house and do not give him any greeting, because the person who gives him a greeting shares in his evil deeds. Though I have many other things to write to you, I do not want to do so with paper and ink, but I hope to come visit you and speak face to face so that our joy may be complete. The children of your elect sister greet you. God, I think it's so beautiful that John is referring in this letter to the church as an elect lady, uh, just like you would a, a married person and the church being your bride. Um, I just think it's very poetic how he wrote that and talking about her children, the people in that church. And I love how he goes on to say, I rejoice greatly because I have found some of your children living according to the truth, just as the Father commanded us. And I think it's really important to, just just like in parenting, that when you see somebody do something right, uh, you should make notice of it. Um, I find too often, and I'm sure this is true in a lot of situations, God, but I find it very true in churches, that the people who are doing things right aren't the squeaky wheel and so people just kind of bypass them and they spend all their time and all their energy dealing with the squeaky wheels the people who aren't living according to the truth and of course I'm not inferring in the slightest that it should be reversed of that but I think sometimes you need to stop and remember the people in your church and just uh, encourage them and pray for them um, I know my friend who's a pastor, a lot of people never say to him, uh, good job, or I'm praying for you, or what can I do, and sincerely mean it, uh, or just do things for him that they see might need to get done that week, because they have this expectation that the pastor's in charge, everything's fine, he's strong, he can handle everything, but I would say the pastor needs almost more, <laughs> more attention than anybody else. Uh, to strengthen him. He's going to come under attack a lot more than, than most people. I think that's true of anybody in ministry as well. Just stopping and acknowledging people for doing the work that they do in your kingdom, I, I think is more vital than people give it credit for. You know, we're so often, I, I think of my kids I work with at church, we're so often tracking down kids who've run away or getting kids bailed out from jail or uh, talking to guidance counselors or t sometimes talking to parents in conferences with with other leaders that a lot of times we overlook the kids that are just doing it right that are out there sharing the gospel um, who aren't problem children per se um, but they probably have their own struggles and they probably just need somebody to come alongside them and go you know what what you're doing you're doing awesome <laughs> and I know it's not about you it's all about God but you're doing awesome so God I hope today that and it would be nice for every single day of our lives but God it would be really nice if we could remember today to stop and thank somebody in our lives who's just doing it right that they are uh, living the life that they should in you that they were are reflecting the truth of you 
that they are reflecting your grace and your mercy and your love your love and your forgiveness um, that they're doing awesome at their ministry that they're working hard behind the scenes that we would stop and take time to acknowledge those people those not squeaky wheel quiet people who really do need our encouragement from time to time and hopefully we're all praying for them as well but sometimes it's nice to just tell somebody hey I'm praying for you I'm praying for your ministry I'm keeping you in my prayers uh, what can I do this week to help you what can I pray for you specifically God just help us to remember that the world gets so loud and the people not doing it right get even louder and we rush to pay attention to them and sometimes the people who are doing it right need that encouragement sometimes even more in certain situations than whatever emergency <laughs> emergency or fire we're running to put out at that time god thank you for the faithful who are walking that hard path in this life who are working for your kingdom working very hard for your kingdom who are putting in not only their time and their hearts but a lot of times any money that they have is going into that ministry as well God, I just pray for strength for them, for encouragement for them. I pray for discernment for them and empowerment for them, that they will continue in the path that you've given them, that they will continually seek whatever it is that you want so that they don't get burnt out by seeking their own path, that we know that you will provide them any energy that they need to do your will. In your son's name I pray, amen.